Uh, she's at the end of the journey, mind you, so she's reeking in pain and blisters and whatnot. The thoughts that were created, uh, was, there, there was this freedom? No, it still wasn't. Real freedom would be to walk without shoes or backpack or staff or food or water and mostly without thoughts. The thoughts were what created the pain and anxiety and suffering. I remember that 20th century mystic J. Krishnamurti said he was so pleased when he reached the point where he could walk in the wilderness without having one single thought in his head. He said that he was surrounded totally. He said he had surrendered totally to God. Like the ancient pilgrims, the pilgrims are the people who walk the Camino. Uh, he walked in utter helplessness and knew he had found freedom. Um, yada, yada, yada. Um, the reality of my soul seemed to want to communicate to me, to my brain, and wanted to be understood and acknowledged and, fi and factored into my life today. In fact, my soul was entreating me to understand that it was the repository of my experiences down through time. And now, as I walk, it was communicating, which seemed, which such events to my brain I was communicating such events to my brain I was feeling that my brain and my soul had merged and had become a medium for my understanding my soul was knocking on the walls of my brain longing to be acknowledged as the processor of knowledge beyond my understanding was my brain beginning to open its doors it happened John the Scot came to me again he was smiling his eyes twinkling in his ruddy freckled face well lassie he began, you baptized yourself into quite an experience here, didn't you, eh? Um, okay, I didn't want to read that part, but anyway. Yes, I am. It was wonderful, but where have you been these past few days? Oh, he said, I've been with you. However, it was better for you not to know until you baptized yourself in whatever that river was that she passed. Why? You, you needed to experience yourself without me. Besides, you had your angel, did you not? Yes. And you visited momentarily with your parents, did you not? They're on the other side. Yes. And you used your red heart of love to overcome fear, did you not? Yes. Well then, yes. Do you like your cross? Oh my, yes. Anyway, did you not feel compelled to find the jewelry store? I did. Did you not feel compelled to find a jewelry shop? Yes. You must learn to accept guidance. There is no coincidences in life. All is harmonious and has meaning and follows the law of cause and effect. So it really is the same one. She was doubting. So is this the same one I, I had way back in the 13th century? And he's like, you create everything. Of course it is. And uh, I hesitated. Why shouldn't I be suspicious? There are so many. Uh, are there? Uh, there are so many charlatans out there. John hardly let me finish, my dear. You were saying then that you are a charlatan because the guidance you suspect from comes from you. Everything comes from within you. When you suspect, when you suspect harmony. Um. Sorry, I tried to watch the time. It is your harmony that is not balanced do you understand so maybe what you're saying is coming from me also precisely you create your own sense of reality from within yourself so I am creating you most certainly he says you create the world around you and the people in it and you create the world you create the people you you have your God energy within you and are a co-creator with that this, this is your dream, and you are creating everything in it, everything. That is why it is correct to say we are all one. Each of us is everyone else. Now, do you want to be clinical, or do you want to be suspicious of your own dream? Oh, Lord, I thought I didn't know what to think. The Camino was real. The other people were real. My body was real. The suffering was real. My dear, John says, as though reading my thoughts, <laughs> none of those examples is objectively real. They are what you have created for yourself. You know that. 
you have created me to guide you. Why would you not trust and have faith in what you have created? God. Uh, God is the loving energy with which you create. You are happy being sus are you happy being suspicious of loving energy? No, of course not. Do you want joy? Yes. Remember then that one drop of joy creates and transforms oceans of ne negativity. Suspicion of your dream is negativity. Be responsible for your dream. Your life, your dream you have created, I whom you have created, am a tool for to provide you with the knowledge that you already have. Have faith in truth and you have faith in truth that you are um that yeah you are possessed of all knowledge in that truth you know that you are one with God your cross is the symbol of balance in all four directions whoever holds it anchors himself in the earth plane physical physical in the earth planes physical dimension in order to know the joys and sorrows of life the cross represents the uh, resolution of the earth plane issues that is why the symbol of the crucifix that is the symbol of the crucifix Jesus was the master of this resolution and when he died on the cross he balanced everyone's issues alive on the earth plane at that time he took the collective karma of mankind into his shoulders and during the crucifixion that is why that is why it was so painful for him he initiated the consciousness of human life into the vibration of love I just gotta sit and meditate on that for a minute that is why he died for all mankind's sins to be more accurate he cleansed mankind's karma to that point give them a clean slate so to speak he was true he was a true master ye will do as I have done and even greater he said the kingdom of heaven and God is within everyone that is God's energy you're talking about I asked yes it felt as a love vibration you experienced it in your nature during your beloved musical storm did you not different part of the book uh, yes I have created you to tell me this because I already knew it most certainly so I am having an internal dialogue with myself precisely <clears throat> sorry hi I'm good honey how are you I, well I wanted you to hear it and see it too so sorry guys <laughs> Casey says hello to everybody out there by the way uh, having inner dialogue with myself, right? This is Shirley McLean, and she's talking to her uh, angel guide. Precisely. Now trust that. This is the angel guide t turn talking. Now trust that. It is really very simple. People will tell you, I wish I could believe this. I wish I could believe that. Well, if they wish it, they can. If you are truly aligned with the God vibration of love within yourself, you are always safe, peaceful, and in surrender to your own true place he fell silent and I wondered if I had fallen asleep and my dream was finished then John said John the Scott is who she's talking to honey one of her guides on the Cam on her walk down the Camino uh, so this is John now you guys I wonder uh, now suppose that we communicate with why are you doing this Camino yes I answered please the Camino leads you to leads you west to the end of the unknown world yes yes that's what the legends say Shirley says well I know now I will now show you why you are walking toward the unknown world there was another moment of silence then John said you must relax because I am going to take you back to another time and place more uh, magnificent than the one you can realize now I waited and sudden, suddenly nervous. You must let your consciousness go, he said. Please remove your consciousness from standing in your way. 
see you guys and that's another part of grounding I'll make another video about that I began to relax inside myself more time went by as though I was and more time went by then as though I was hearing his voice in another vibrational tone my unconscious mind began to become active and one with his voice it was hard to describe what happened to me in fact I was I was not me not me as I knew me in all other vibrations I felt I was me somehow but that identity seemed to slip away from me now